What's up everybody and welcome. My name is DJ Garuchik and welcome back to another video. Now, if you clicked on this video, it is because you want to complete the 10 years of Clash event. Now, I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there who have made videos to help you accomplish this task. However, maybe they explained it a little differently. Maybe there was a small detail that they missed that I will be able to fill in for you to assist you in completing this event. So without further ado, let's jump in. The last video that we did finished everything from 2017 to 2012. So if you need help with those challenges, definitely click the card above, watch that video first, and then come back to this one. So we're gonna get started with 2018. All right, so what you need to know is there is an air defense to the left, there's an air defense to the right. The air defense that's to the right is actually next to the archer queen. So what we can do is we can use the king to take out this air defense and take out the queen. That would be an excellent two for one combo. We'll deploy the queen on this side so that the queen can take out this air defense, essentially creating a path, a funnel for all of our E-drags to come straight up the middle. And then we're gonna deploy our balloon, not the balloon, the blimp, to take out this middle area here. And then I'm not really worried too much about these two air defenses. They shouldn't be much of a problem. So let's get the party started. I'm gonna drop the ice golem here with the queen. The king doesn't really need anything. He could tank everything on his own. So we're gonna drop the king to do some work. And now we're just gonna be patient. We're gonna let the queen and king do some work here. Again, they're creating a funnel and taking out some pesky air defenses that could cause a problem in the future. Here he goes, he sees the queen. The queen goes down, air defense goes down, and perfect. Now we're gonna drop our balloons. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna drop our E-Drags. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna drop our Grand Warden. We're gonna drop our Blimp. And now we're just gonna let them rock. We're gonna wait until the Blimp is just out, almost at the picture. We caught the Blimp. And um, yeah, that's it. We're just gonna let them rock. Now we're gonna let the Blimp get in here. We're gonna wait a second. We're gonna pop two freezes No. We don't want those um, infernal towers doing damage. <clears throat> so they're frozen, that's fine. Uh, we do have one more rage here. Let's rage up these balloons so they can get to where they need to go faster before these um, infernal towers can do some work. And that's it, we can effectively start our bat wave. And um, there's no towers here to really hurt us. I'm gonna drop the baby dragon up top. And um, that's pretty much it. We just let the bats do the work now. We have one more freeze for that wizard tower on the back end. We have all these bats coming in. They're doing so much work. The, the air defense isn't really gonna do anything. It's not gonna hurt these bats. We have so many bats here. And we just gotta be really careful with this wizard tower. Ooh! We were a little slow on that, but that's okay. And that's it, there's really nothing left here. There's a Tesla at the end, as we know, the pesky hidden Tesla. And that hidden Tesla is not so hidden and it is gone. So um, that's pretty much it. We just let the bats be amazing and just fly around and destroy everything. And um, yeah, I mean, this one's not that hard to crack. So hopefully this video helped you take this base down bat attack are always really 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 fun to do all right guys so this challenge is not easy it's gonna take you a couple of tries and that's okay what you're gonna notice is there's some tombstones next to some of these scatter shots and that's where you want to deploy your spells so um this is all about time you want to do this as fast as you possibly can so we're gonna get started as fast as possible here we go you'll notice that not all of the scatter shots have a spell on them it's um, only the ones that have a tombstone. This one right here does not have it because this one right here has a hidden Tesla. The next thing that we're gonna deploy is our archers and that's gonna happen as soon as some of these um, scatter shots go away. I'm gonna drop two of our archers here, one here, one here, and the, the trash buildings on the back end are gonna get taken care of by the skeletons. So now we're gonna have to just be really, really patient here. We're gonna essentially just wait until these buildings go down. That goes down. We need the elixir pump to go down. Elixir pump goes down. I'm gonna drop all my yetis right here. And I'm gonna drop a couple of wall breakers. They, that should really help out. We don't need to drop all of them. And um, now we're gonna essentially let the yetis do their work. Yetis are getting in there. And um, Scattershot is gonna be focusing these yetis. 
um, that's okay. And uh, scatter shot is busy. Now I'm gonna drop all my wall breakers. Here they go. They should assist the Yetis. Perfect, everybody going in the same direction. The wall breakers are gonna help the Yetis get in faster, which is what we want. We have a whole minute and 40 seconds. That's exactly how you want to play this. I'm gonna drop my heal. I'm gonna drop my poison. I'm gonna wait on the skeletons because that we're gonna deploy right when the Yeti start going after the wall right here. And let's go. That way the skeletons can, you know, take some of the rays from the town hall away from the Yetis. We don't want the Yetis to burn out right here. That's the whole thing. And the Yetis are kind of hurt at this point. Um, so this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. We really need the Yetis to target this town hall. We have a couple of Yetis on full HP. We have one that's very, very hurt. Um, the Yetis are hitting the town hall at this point, which is perfect. We have troops on all the outside um, collectors and storages. And um, that should be it. We have 51 seconds. This is literally a perfect run. We have so many troops left over. And this is how you do it. This is going to take you a couple of tries. Definitely pause the video. Try it a couple of times. But I'm telling you, as long as you don't give up, you will succeed at this challenge. Um, just try to deploy everything like you saw me deploy. Be patient. And before you know it, you will get the three star. All right. So that's it for this challenge. Okay, guys, this challenge is very, very difficult. It's probably going to take you a couple of tries. It took me a couple of tries. But anyway, without further ado, let's go. We're going to drop blimp. We're going to drop king. Queen. We're gonna pop blimp now. We're gonna drop our royal champion. And um, royal champion is gonna get to work. We're gonna drop a freeze momentarily to help the royal champion out. We wanted to wait until the queen got in proximity. And uh, that was basically the plan. We need the queen to go down. Queen is busy with the skeletons. That's perfect. Um, here we go. We're gonna pop ability. Our queen should be taking care of the top. Um, all right. Now we really need this um, royal champion to do damage to this air defense. Maybe even take it out. Come on. Come on. Let's see. He got one strike, two strike, three strike. Perfect. Okay. Looking good. And now we're going to deploy all of our balloons. We're going to deploy all of our dragons. We're going to drop our mans over here. We're going to count two, three. And then we're going to pop ability. There's a lot of bombs over here. We don't want to deal with them. Um, so now we're working with a little bit less of these air defenses. You know, they are difficult to deal with. So um, we want to take as many as we can out. We only have two left, which is going to be definitely in our favor. Um, we got that um, scatter shot out. We just need to get this AD right here. Uh, my troops are going to get it. Yes. Okay. His skeletons did an amazing job. We're going to drop our skeletons here. We're going to drop a freeze to help the skeletons go to work. Um, so far, our troops are working our way to the middle. Um, I'm going to save this freeze for this AD right here because this AD can absolutely wreck our dragons. And that's not something that we want to happen. I'm going to pop the freeze right now because the AD is wrecking our troops. And um, our troops are basically targeting everything except the AD. Um, we have this wizard tower over here. That's, is it gonna go down? I don't think so. We have a lot of troops left, but the question is, is it enough troops? Is it enough troops? We're gonna drop the archer right on that mortar. Hopefully it can really help us out, get our troops to go where they need to go. And we have a couple of seconds left. We're doing pretty good on time. We're targeting everything but the air defense. Now we're on the air defense perfect we have 35 seconds left we do have this elixir collector elixir collector goes down we have one last building 25 seconds left and we are done guys you're gonna have to try this challenge a couple of times it's not easy good luck but i know you guys can do it with this guide okay so for this one you really want to focus on your heroes they are gonna be a big part of this challenge because they effectively can uh, take out multiple compartments and that's what you want to do. Um, king is up here. I'm going to drop my queen. Um, we definitely want this king to go inside. Hopefully now he decides to turn down. Perfect. And um, yeah, we're going to let the king work. He should take out this whole zone right here. 
um, he should not have too much of an issue with that. Um, here come the CC troops. Let's freeze them and poison them. And that should take care of that. Um, we're waiting for the Eagle Artillery to go down. Eagle Artillery is getting um, sauced up with the fire. And Queen is doing great. She's really helping us out down here. Uh, we need her to maybe take out maybe one more Infernal Tower. That would definitely really, really help get extra value out of her. But if not, it's okay. I'm going to drop my dragons now let's get that portion of the attack started here we go um, we're gonna drop a rage to help them stay inside and they all need to go after this town hall yep let's all go after this town hall let's smack it um, here we go we're gonna have to drop another rage over here keep our dragons raged we want to keep them angry give them super strength uh, let's give them warden ability so that they can take out of this town hall. Town hall should go down. Okay. Now, while they're working on the bottom, I'm going to drop my royal champion. I'm going to drop these rocket balloons. I'm going to drop a rage here. We're going to freeze these bad boys. And we're going to let our troops work. The scatter shot should go down. No problem. Let's drop a rage here in the middle. And let's also freeze this infernal tower. I'm going to use our Royal Champion's ability. Damn, that shield can fly. Captain America over here. Um, yeah, the troops just, our CC troops finally just came out. And um, they're, pretty much everything is destroyed. I'm going to freeze some of these very dangerous buildings here. This is extremely dangerous. So we're going to wait until our troops get to it. And now we're going to drop a freeze. And that should do it. You got to be really careful of that spell factory. It can wreck your troops. So definitely keep that freeze on standby. And that's it for this challenge. King. Queen. This dude. Pop this dude's ability. Royal champion, go. All right, their goal is to break that little wall and go straight for that town hall or whatever the hell you call that little goblin hut that throws these grenades. And uh, the royal champion can kind of just do whatever she wants. Uh, she's very strong. She can handle a lot of the de these defenses by herself. She's going to take out a lot of these hidden Teslas. Um, no problem. And um, set off a lot of traps as well so that later on in the match, your troops don't have to set off any of these traps anymore to take out some of these huts because the royal champion already triggered them the royal champion is destroying most of these defenses uh, she's doing great she's just walking around the top she's gonna pop her ability take out some of these you know towers these uh, tesla towers these cannons and uh we have taken out the majority of this base look at how many hidden teslas are left though we are about halfway there uh, we still have all our heroes which is perfect I'm going to pop queen ability to help speed things up here so that we're not just sitting here all day long. Um, Royal Champion is definitely going strong. She's taking out the majority of these defenses. I think the Royal Champion is MVP here. Royal Champion has definitely taken out so many defenses, hit so many traps. These guys are on top right now. Yes, they took out the Town Hall, but I definitely think Royal Champion is MVP and Royal Champion is dead. Uh, damn, right as we say that. All right, so now um, our troops... Oh, damn. 10% battery life. Oh, no. Can we finish this video with 10% battery life left? I hope so. Uh, so we're at 85%. We have about one minute left. The queen is doing work. You see how much value we got out there Royal Champion? All these traps got triggered. So that's definitely helping our troops just run through this bottom portion of this base. We're just wrecking everything that's over here. We know that our heroes went to the middle and they went to the top right. So all we have left is essentially the eastern side of this base and we're heading straight for it. We're 96% in. The owl decided to just get away from everybody. Now the owl is fighting the hidden Tesla. I don't know if the owl can fight this one-on-one, -on -one, but with the backup, it definitely can. And we have this last hidden Tesla that's not so hidden. Goodbye. Goodbye, good riddance, and that is it. All right, guys, good luck. I hope this video has helped you. If you did not watch the previous one, definitely check that one out. Together, these videos will help you overcome all these challenges. And um, yeah, don't give up on your first try. Try a couple times, and hopefully um, you get three-star for everything. Anyway, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching.